Um, going back to Second Ezra, the 15th chapter, verse 10. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter, and I would not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. Right, man. Our people is led as a flock to the slaughter. And by who, man? By, by hypocritical leaders, man. Our so-called leaders, man. Whether they're your politicians, your school teachers, your entertainers, your church pastors, they are, they all leading us as a, as a flock to the slaughter, man, because they've been lying to us, man. They not preparing you for the times to come, man. That's in America, man. You know. Then the Lord tell tell on the disciples to watch and pray that this day don't come up on them unawares, man. You know. Um, verse twelve. Now, verse 11, uh, 2 Ezra chapter 15, verse 11. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy the land thereof. Right, man. So he's going to say, he said he's going to smite Egypt with plagues as before, man. Which you know what happened to the first Egypt, man. You know, which all the plagues the Lord smite that, smited that uh, ancient Egypt with, which, which today is a modern day Egypt, man. You know, because they keep all the ancient customs of Egypt, man. You know? Right, so the Lord said he's going to smite Egypt again, man, with plagues, man. So that's what's coming to America, man. You know? Um, <clears throat> Second Ezra, chapter 16, starting at verse 13. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world, man. Right. And what are these arrows talking about, man? These arrows are actually talking about thermonuclear missiles, man, which the Lord going to put the spirit on all these nations to shoot missiles on America, man. But that's going to be the finishing touches, man. But all these other things going to take place first before that happen, man, you know. Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth, man. Right. The fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundation of the earth. Like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer returneth not backwards. Even so, the plagues that shall be sent upon the earth shall not return again, man. Right, man. So the Lord already then, then, then basically... Put this in his word through his prophets, man. And the Lord, hey, he, it, it'll make him a liar if all these things didn't come to pass, man. So that's why our scriptures say all the plagues are sent. And, and like a mighty archer that shoot at an arrow, they not going to return, man. You know, which the Lord and I already prophesied that this going to happen, man. You know, so it's going to happen, man. Only thing you can do is basically try to, um, hey, learn the knowledge of salvation, man. Come back to learn who you are, you know, basically... You so you know, learn who you are, man. Which which you so called Negroes, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native Americans I'm gonna keep saying that you the true Israelites, man. That's the starting point, man. But then you gotta basically come back to these laws, statutes, and commandments, man. You know. And number one, man, you gotta you gotta believe on whom the world knows Jesus Christ, man. Which his true name is Yahweh, man. Because he the only he he basically he the only way to the Father, man. He the only way to this knowledge, man. You know, he is the knowledge of salvation, man. He came in, he came in the volume of this book, man. You know? Um, Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 17. Woe is me, woe is me. Who will deliver me in those days, man? Right, so, hey, that's the spirit of the men of the Lord. Who gonna deliver us in these days, man? Which we know, Lord will, if we part of that elect, man. Whom the world knows Jesus Christ and his holy angels gonna deliver his elect, man, from the four corners of the world, man. But when Ezra's actually wrote this, when the angel was actually on revealing this to Ezra, he was like, who gonna reveal me in those days, man? Which Ezra didn't know he was prophesying that he was gonna actually be back in the reincarnation at this time, man. You know? On um, verse 18, the beginning of sorrows and great mornings. The be right, see, this is the beginning of sorrows and great mornings, man, because, hey, hey, as an American, man, hey, people in America just been living it up, man, committing all the wickedness they want to, you know, just been doing whatever they want to, man. But now it's time for, hey, death, 
pain and, and destruction to come to this place, man. You know, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars, and the powers should stand in fear. Right, and the powers gonna stand in fear, man, because even though you got the elites, they basically orchestrate knowledge, man. But once they realize they ain't they ain't gonna control this how they thought they was, they 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 gonna stand in fear, man. And they already standing in fear now, man. Going back to um, Ecclesiastes the twelfth chapter, which I'm gonna get there real quick. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils come, man? Right, man. So if you caught up into them churches, man, you know. Your pastor not going into this, man. He actually gonna lead you right into the on um, to the destruction, man. He, he leading you as a flock to the slaughter, man. He's supposed to be letting you know what's going on with current events, man. You know, if the Bible say famine coming, your pastor's supposed to be warning you of that, man. You know, you supposed to be preparing yourself mentally for that. So when it hit, you would be like, okay, the scripture said that was gonna happen. And you wouldn't, you ain't gonna go crazy, man. You ain't gonna bug out, man. Like the majority of these people gonna do, man. You know, that's why, the, hey, that's why the scriptures say wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of thy times and the strength of thy salvation. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 12. I'm going to start at uh, verse 1, and I'm going to skip to verse 3. Remember now the cre thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw not. Right, so it's time to, hey, it's time to come back to these law, statutes, and commandments, man, for, this, for, the, for, for all these evils really start to hit the fan, man, you know? Nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say I have no pleasure in them, man. Right. And I'm going to skip down. To, um, I'm just going to read to verse 3. While the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain, man. Right. Um, verse 3. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves. Right. So who, is the, who are the keepers of the houses, man? You fucking elites, man. They really trembling right now, man. And like the scriptures say, they gonna see they only have a short time, man. They gonna come down with great wrath. And that's what's about to happen, man. You know? And the grander, and the grander cease because they are fruit. Right, just talking about the jobs, man. You know? And those that look out the windows be darkened, man. And those windows where I represent you looking for, um, basically to your future, man, which is gonna start to darken, man. Especially it, it, because in America, your future is the dollar. Nobody's accepting the dollar no more, man. You know? America is an import country. All the goods coming from out of other countries coming into America, man. You go to the grocery store, your fruits, and, and you know, and all that stuff coming from these other countries, man. Which they, they, they just gonna stop all these countries. In, in a minute, no country's gonna accept the dollar, man. You know? Then Russia, they basically cut off the gas to Europe. And I ain't never, I ain't know the euro was bagged entirely by the dollar, man. That's something new I found out today in that article, man. So all hell is finna take place to bring the kingdom and rulership down of this fucking so-called white man, man. Excuse my language, but hey, them merely words, these war words, man. Cause it's finna be war out here, man. You know, back in Second Edges, the uh, 16th chapter, in the 19th verse. Behold, famine and plague and tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. Right. These are sent for punishments, man. For the wicked, man. You know? But for all these things, they should not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of scourges, man. Or the scourges, right, man. But for all these things that, hey, that's finna come to pass, our pe the, hey, two-thirds of our people still not gonna change, man. And we not in you other nations, man. You, hey, you, you. It, there's no chance for you to make it anyway, man. You know. Behold, victuals shall be so good, cheap upon earth. Which victuals is talking about food, man? 
I see, like right now, fool, you still can afford, you know, it, it, hey, it's higher than it was back in the day, but you still can afford to feed yourself, man. You know, behold, victuals shall be so, uh, so good, cheap upon earth, that they shall think themselves to be in good case, right? Because you, we can tell our people right now what's finna happen. They like you tripping, bro. You know, because they can still go to the grocery store and get what they want, go to the fast food spots and get what they want. They, they thinking everything going to be all right, man, you know. And even then shall evils grow up on earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. And that's what's starting to grow right now, man, you know. Because the people in America, the majority of the people in America are not paying attention to what's going on outside America, man. You pay attention to what's going outside on America, you can you'll see what's what's finna come to America, man. And it's gonna hit America harder than it than hey, it's gonna hit America ten times worse than the, all these other countries, man. You know? On verse 22. For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy, man. Right, man. So you might escape. You might escape the on uh, the famine, man. But then you gotta get caught up in the race wars that's gonna be going on out here, man. Because when all this stuff start to take place, hey, everybody gonna go back to their own people, and then it's gonna be a fight, man, for survival out here, man. It's gonna be survival of the fittest out here, man. You know. Verse twenty-three, and the dead should be cast out as dumb, and there should be no man to comfort them, for the earth shall be wasted. And the city shall be cast down, man. Right, man. So it's going to be so many dead bodies out here. Hey, ain't no, hey, hey you just going to be stepping over dead bodies, man. You know? Ain't nobody going to be out here to bury the bodies, man. Hey, America going to be a fucking, uh, a fucking 50 state graveyard, man. That's all America finna be, man. You know? Which going to be finished off by thermal nuclear destruction, man. Hey, hey, excuse my language, man, but hey, these manly words, if you can't take it, man, you know, you, hey, you, need, you better man up, man, because what's going to come to America, they don't even compare to the words I'm saying, man, you know? This is Amos, the fifth chapter, starting at the 18th verse. War unto you, war unto you that desire the, um, let me, I'm going to go to Revelation first before I go to Amos. On um, Revelation chapter 18. Lord at verse 6. Um, and it's actually talking about America, man. I'm going to start at verse 3 and I'm going to skip down. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. And the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. Right, man. So all these other nations basically got rich off America, man. For her sin, um, skip on um, verse four. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, "Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that you receive not of her plagues, man." Right, because we're doing all this during the time when all this started to take place, man. The Lord gonna start to he gonna start to deliver his um elect men, man. You know, that's what this word talking about. Come out of my, my come out of her, my people. The Lord gonna start delivering his men during this, during these wicked and evil days, man. You know, for her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High has remembered her iniquities. And if it, it, it start at the first verse, it's talking about Babylon the Great, which is America, man. Just trying to speed it on, speed the lesson up, man, because I don't want it to be so long, man. You know, reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her according to her works. In the cup which she have filled, filled to, filled to her double, man. Right, man. 
So for how America been going around the world, taking all these nations on resources, dropping bombs on them, you know, and mainly what they done to the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native Americans, the Lord said, 